wondering if thousands of miles away the sky is just as blue it's as if i'm stuck in yesterday when i'm thinking hi guys this is Jia Ying and welcome back to my channel today i'll be sharing how to make a simple char siu otherwise known as chinese bbq roast pork recipe which only needs five basic ingredients to cook. If you like my videos and would like to support me, please hit the like button and subscribe. Please also hit the notification bell so that you'll be alerted when the next video is up. This recipe is passed down to me from my mother-in-law who learnt it from her late father. My late grandfather-in-law adapted this char siu recipe using ingredients easily available in Southeast Asia when he migrated from Guangzhou, China to this region many years ago. This char siu is so easy to make, you can easily make it at home using just a heavy bottom saucepan. To make the char siu, we will need to marinate the pork beforehand for at least 8 hours or overnight. To make the marinade, place palm sugar, honey, light soya sauce and Shaoxing wine in a large measuring cup. Stir to dissolve. You may need to break up the palm sugar lumps to help it dissolve. I switched from using a spatula to a fork eventually as I find the fork more effective in crushing the palm sugar lumps. Once everything is dissolved, set aside. Place the pork in a zip-top bag. Pour the marinade into the bag. Make sure to squeeze as much air as possible out of the bag before sealing it as it helps the marinade to absorb better. Set aside in the fridge for 8 hours or overnight to marinate. To make the char siu, I am using a specific cut of pork called the fei ji rou. Uh, fei ji rou is literally translated into English as aeroplane meat. Uh, this kind of pork is suitable for making char siu because it contains a lot of fat marbling which adds so much depth of flavour into the pork. If you are unable to find fei ji rou in your area, you could also look for other fatty cuts of pork to replace it with. To cook the pork, Place the pork together with all of the marinade in a heavy bottom saucepan and cook over low heat. Remove the scum from the pork and continue cooking on low heat, basting the top of the pork regularly. Flip the pork occasionally so that the marinade can be absorbed evenly as it cooks. Continue basting the pork until the syrup is thickened. The syrup will soon caramelize on the bottom. Once that happens, flip the pork over so that the pork can be caramelized on both sides. It's okay if the char siu is a little charred. It is a must have to have some char in the char siu. Remove the char siu to a plate to cool and rest for 20 to 30 minutes. Once the char siu is rested long enough, cut the char siu into slices and it is ready to be served. As you can see, uh, this char siu does not have the typical reddish hue that you typically get from the stores outside and there is a reason for that. Uh, that's because no red food colouring is used in this home recipe. So now it's time to have a taste. I am so so hungry because it is way past dinner time and so I'm just gonna eat. Look at that layer of fat there. Mm. Well, that's it for today's video. 
This char siu recipe is the char siu that is on the slightly sweeter side than the more savoury ones typically found in Singapore and Malaysia. Uh, but it does have an added flavour profile that comes from the gulab malacca use as well as the copious amounts of Shaoxing wine that goes into it. I personally love this so much and our family loves it too so I hope you guys get to try it someday and before we say goodbye please remember to like and subscribe! See ya!